Oki Itamics Kanatani. Good morning. It is just after 8 o'clock in the a.m. on Wednesday, June 1st, 2022. And I'm just going to say we're in Misamsota, the long rains, because I believe uh, Matsi Kapisakitsam and Apisiskitsatos blended into one. <laughs> one lunar cycle. Um, <clears throat> any case, I'm on my way uh, to the west side. Well, I'm on the west side, but I'm on my way to pick up a skunk at one of the residences here. Um, this is the first skunk that I've had in, I don't know, at least a week, probably more than a week. And given that it's summertime and early summer, um, I expect more skunk calls that I've gotten I wonder how many skunks were affected by the avian flu because they can uh, catch it and it can kill them so we could have had a little bit of a skunk die off or the, the slowness uh, right now might reflect nursing mothers who tend to have a sixth, sixth sense <laughs> about traps so I don't know what's going on but I'm moving one this morning. Um, I probably got a couple of video clips to show you from the last few days to kind of catch up. And I'll just take the camera with me today. We'll see where the day leads us. It's going to be warm, so it's a possibility of snakes. Um, we'll see. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe we'll get a, a crazy day. But uh, either way, we'll have the camera with us. Hey there, Skunky. You are not easy to catch. Mm -hmm. I had to do a, a bunch of tries to get you. Yeah, this one turned one trap over and, and pried its door off of its hinge and then turned another trap over and took the bait. Finally, I told her, put, put those big bricks on there and uh, we'll see if he turns it over again. And here we are. There you go, skunky. Have a good one. Little tobacco shoots. Baby babies that actually came from seeds off of this plant and uh, it's going to grow up something like these in this window which is not the biggest this plant can get 
it grows very well in Mahoney's backyard, but uh, grows a, a, a good twice this tall and twice as large leaves, but this is the tobacco from the sun from the beaver bundle, the one that the crow brought back. Um, <clears throat> I inherited a couple new plants yesterday. One of them's here. The other one, which is larger, is at the studio. And uh, they're both tropical plants. And they were given to me by Chelsea, who, uh, unfortunately, because of, you know, having to commute to work out on the reserve and try to shuffle the kids to school here in town and um, manage finances on the, a single uh, mother's wages and stuff, she wasn't making it. So she's decided to move back in with her parents for a bit, sort things out from there. And uh, there's a couple of things that she couldn't take with her, the plants being one of them. And so I inherited the plants, but it's bittersweet because um, I'm sad that she's moving. It was always nice, even though we didn't get to see each other too much, it was always nice to know that she was just three blocks away, you know. And uh, now she's going to be a good hour's drive away, so. But that's what has to be done for, uh, I guess, for her for the moment. any case, getting to work here and... Um, these days, it's, I don't know, I'm just working on putting together job fairs and connecting with employers. Um, I gotta start doing more of those career profile videos. And yeah, just trying to work with the team here. We have to get uh, 12 people employed per month to kind of meet our, our contract for our funding and such. And 12 people, believe it or not, is not that easy to do. <laughs> Anyhow. Oh, hey. How are you? Good. You're Ryan, I'm Susan. I am, yeah. Good to meet you. Hey. hey. He's stuck under the fence. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's stuck actually in the... No, it's not that he's stuck under the fence. He's actually got his body through one of the segments of the fence. It's... It's, it's worse than that, yeah. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to have to do is uh, grab a pair of wire clippers and uh, grab a tube. Hopefully, I brought my tubes. And we'll tube him and uh, cut that wire and bend it back so that he can get out of it.
Maybe. Snake. Wow. That was yeah, that was that was not so bad. It's worse when they're in garden netting because they get twisted up in about a hundred different strands of that stuff, you know. This one wasn't so bad. Scared. Look, there's snakes around here. I know, but like, just hurry. Come on. <laughs> we'll just fucking. Well, it's right here. This, this. That's a big ass in here. Yeah, hey. Yeah, hey. So it is evening time now. Obviously, work is over and I got a snake call. And you saw what happened. Oh, wait, I'm not even here. I was supposed to record it with this one. Oh, he's all stuck down in my ear. I gotta take a picture of him for the database. I haven't even seen really if it's a, oh yeah, that's a him. It is a him. Big ass long tail after the Kalika. Been agitated, so I don't think I'm gonna go more hands on with him than I already have. <laughs> Just kind of bring him out of the bucket and let him go on his way. Cause that didn't feel very good being stuck in that chicken wire. Hey bud. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that didn't feel very good either. A little shock. But... Sorry I'm such a klutz. Oh the dog, the dog. Oh. Shh. Get away. Go on.
Get out of here. Go, this dog's coming. He's coming? He's right there. Yeah, you don't want to be around here. Go on. It's not a safe place for the dog. <laughs> you don't want to go over there. Here. Tamex Gnatani Itamo Apinakum Yup. We have uh, happily arrived at another dawn. It is Thursday, my favorite day of the week, rolling into day two. Just quickly here, I'm gonna cap it, but I don't know if you can see the waters here at Spobikimi are just filled with turtles absolutely filled with turtles um, what remaining waters there are and that's the problem hey all these turtles are gonna have to leave because this pond is way too dry I believe the beavers are gonna have to leave the muskrats gonna have to leave um, the geese already left remember they were here from my uh, one of my videos I think on Saturday the geese were here uh, three families of them and they've they've ditched I haven't seen them here now for four or five days um, so this is gonna be the the strangest year ever watching things here at Shmobikimi um, hopefully I have the resolution to the maker of sticks mystery I just come out here this morning to grab this camera Wow yeah, the turtles are just, there's so many of them, hundreds and hundreds of them. All along the edge of the shoreline, and pretty much anything erupting from the water has turtles basking on its side. The other side of this that faces the sun, the other day I was out here with some students and uh, that side was just full of turtles and it's because it's, it's drying up this way and it's drying up that way and right around the lodge is now the deepest bit of water left and it's their uh, they're making their last stands we'll see how many if any stick it out through the summer but if it's like if this all dries up they got to go out of here which is uh a sad thing but yeah I come to get the the game cam we'll end the video with the footage from this I've left it out here I think five six nights now uh, well since Saturday and it's Thursday oh got my little uh got my little uh what do you call it mile catcher thing on I'm trying to do the under armor you versus the year challenge which is basically about three kilometers a day of uh, bipedal movement <laughs> on your feet, which is not much for me. Only when I actually take a extended walk do I set that mile catcher, because I, you know, I do plenty of steps every day. Anyhow, we will end the video with this. We'll see what kind of footage we got. No doubt, we'll have some rodents on there. Will we have the perpetrator? or not perpetrator but the uh the creator of the of the sticks the maker of sticks we'll see <laughs>